All right, this is game in three minutes, and man, this one was a wild one. A lot of good moves, a few not so good moves, but pretty exciting. I'm black, which you can kind of tell. Anyway, um, very bizarre. I've never seen this scenario ever. So I'm classically trained, which means I play the violin. Not really. No, it means... Classically trained means, you know, try to get to center with your pawns and pieces. A little hyper-modern C5 control coming, but I'll shove E5 and D5 when necessary. It's like, hey, we're going to stick this guy over here. I'm going to H5 him and see what kind of, uh, you know, hornet's nest I could stir up because that's... That knight on g3, I believe, is misplaced. So, h5 was... Um, the computer thought it was a good move. So, I made a few that didn't think it was good, but, you know, whatever. So, hey, you're not going to move it? You're going to move it now, buddy. So, wow, that's real spectacular. That's one... I don't know how many moves... He, he spent a bunch of moves moving that knight there. So anyway, knight f1, that can't be good. So again, classical, occupy the center with e5. You know, good luck trying to bash through there. I mean, the way he's playing this opening is like he's not going to be someone who wants to try and bash through with d4. Else he would have played d4 when he had a better shot at doing it. So that's just one of the things you got to learn how to read your opponent. So... And classical business, man. Get your dudes out there. Bishop to e6, pretty solid. You know, bishop to g5, again, good for him. Bishop to e7, hey, you want to take it? I'll take it back. That's cool. Also, queen b6 is pretty good for black. But it's all real solid stuff. You know, don't get stupid. Get your pieces off the back rank like, back has, like black has done. Decide where you're going to castle. You know, if there's, there's no one pressing me to make a decision. Castling on the king side would have been bad. He just plays bishop takes h4, and then like an idiot, I'm a pawn down. So I'm not interested in that. I'm not going to castle over there. That pretty much. Queen to c1, I don't know. It guards, you know, guards the b pawn. He could have played b3, I don't know. I don't, the computer didn't care for it. Didn't like my a5 either, to tell you the truth. Hey, I'm taking all kinds of space, man. This guy's giving it to me. I'm going to take it. So, pretty good. Yeah, not, not knight could go to like f5 or d5. Could be really impressive. So, got to keep, you know, keep attention on stuff. If you want to play bishop takes knight, good. Rook takes h5 and, you know, I'm on him like white on rice. Computer did not like my upcoming move here, I can tell you that. King takes e7. I thought that was pretty good. But the, the computer said knight d5 was the move, which I would have just taken his knight. And then knight c4, that's not the right move for sure. So queen to c7, hey, guess what? I got b5 coming, and what are you going to do about it? Apparently nothing. So, but instead of b5, I'm just putting that knight on f4 he can't kick it off anytime soon very easily if that that i mean i get a, a real nice check if he wants to mess with me and then i'll just eat that h pawn with like if he played g3 you know i'm looking at say h takes g3 you know he takes back or i could just actually play uh, knight to g2, I mean, knight g2 check first, king moves, h takes g3, followed by bishop or rook takes h3, so it's, it stinks for him. Knight to e3, star, that means it's a real good move, and it is a good move. Always remember, you gotta recognize your opponent's mistakes as mistakes, and good moves as good moves. He's not just some dummy that wants to sit there and lose, so... Don't take, don't underestimate your opponent. 
I don't want him to play knight f5, check, so g6. There you go. That's the simple answer behind that. And I just thought this has started to look really loosey for him. But, I mean, it's okay. Hey, you going to give me space? B5, eat that. Black is just making his position slightly better. So, man, he's, he's, he's asking for trouble, I swear. B4, again, if he captures on B4, A takes B4 is pretty strong. Knight on H to G4. Well, I didn't think that was move was that useful to him because I, I was preparing to play F5. F5, E takes F5, and then I go G takes F5, and you still got to move. See, you know, he really doesn't gain anything by this exchange, except I get a half open file. So he gets a bad deal out of moving that knight to G4 because I push, we trade, and the trading is a mistake. He should just go, oh, you know, I made a mistake, go back to H2, which he just did. Now he gave me another half open file to put a rook on to attack his king. This one, the computer thought this was outstanding. This is so dangerous. I thought this, this just, you know, my experience tells me this is the crazy looking move that is just, it opens up the, this, this, you know, the uh, seventh rank. So my queen can get to G7 if I need it. My rooks can stay connected. King to F6, just I, I couldn't find a reason why not to play it, so I played it because it, it looked like it was the right move. And the computer said it was a tremendous move, like double exclamation. G3 will whoop de doo. Um, well, as you see, it, it, it prefers H takes G3, which I don't know. I mean, this is so complicated. You know, you just go with what whatever you see and go with it. And so I saw that Knight takes H3 didn't lose, so I played it. Not to G2, not too good, obviously. Well, I'm going to play H takes G3. You better believe it. So fast and not even funny. Because now we've weakened that pawn on G3. And I have a rook that would really love to sit on that square. And there it is, right on the G file. So rook A G8, I think is a really good move. This, this game right now is literally playing itself for black. I made a, you know, took some chances, king e7, and then king to f6. But, you know, king to f6, man, it looked dangerous as I'll get it, I'm telling you. But, you know, he's still not dead. You know, you might be winning, but he's not dead. e4, retrospectively, I'm looking at this going, that wasn't the greatest move. I had rook takes g3. What was I thinking? But, I mean... Indirectly, I'm threatening to play d5, and then queen takes g3, so eh, it's not, not horrible. I don't know. That's another loser. That wasn't the right move, though, buddy. It didn't like this move for me. I thought it was good, but he should play something different, which he did not play, and I don't remember what the computer thought was the better move. So, oops. That wasn't the right move, dude. Because King F, King F goes to E7. E7, Bad news for him. You know, he's, he's staring at a rook to F8 momentarily. Say goodbye, Charlie. It's over now. You can't give me this kind of pieces. And I actually missed the move that I should have played, which was Knight to E5. But I, I saw that I was escaping. He was not going to be able to, to check me and keep me from escaping. So I knew king to d8 was actually winning too. King Queen f6, that doesn't mean anything. Goodbye. His bishop can't do anything as long as my king stays on, you know, off of b7. Because I'm threatening to play rook to f8. And he's going to lose the bishop. So. Knight e5. 
which is that move that I didn't play earlier. Now I played it because it's good. I'm threatening knight to d3 check as well. It's nasty stuff all over the board. Oh, that's a horrible move. Everyone, raise your hand if you can see the move that wins. Pause the video. Okay, if you paused it, you see it now. Crunch. I already told you this was coming. Oh, man. I was so... I saw that. Well, those of you that saw Knight to G4 check, A+, plus because, oops, I missed it. <laughs> but this is a game in three minutes, and time was very low. Uh, I, I barely, I won this game with like four seconds left on the clock. So I'm I'm winning so much, it doesn't matter. But you got to admit when you make a mistake, I miss knight g4 check. Luckily for me, rook to f8 is, is winning also. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, time is super low. I'm just clarifying this business swapping off everything in sight so he's a full queen down he's gonna lose that bishop too by the way so i've just cleaned this guy's clock and when you do a clock cleaning like this you can give up material to get a queen ahead which yeah, i'm a queen and a knight up so but i had 10 or 11 seconds at this point and so i've got to play fast Eat this. He's dead now. Got him. It didn't matter. He was checkmated one way or the other. So, super tremendous. You know, very exciting game. No one's perfect. I mean, so that was... Being not perfect is what made it more exciting. Um, like I said, anybody, anybody who was sharp enough to catch Knight to G4 check, you got me on that one. No one's perfect. So, well done for you guys. But pretty fun game. Uh, weird stuff. You know, stuff. You just never see that kind of an opening. That was just the craziest opening I've ever seen. But uh, pretty cool. Hopefully you enjoyed it, man. Thanks a lot. Uh, you know the drill. And I'll see you next time.